بيبقى ليك ان هو تاكا ولا ده ميت كيك هنسوي فيه صوم The name of the Lord A strong power The righteous runs into And they are saved I want to start with the word of knowledge And May 31, 2024 And let your aspiration drive your motivation So for instance, if you want to be a lecturer uh, Usually the minimum requirement is the master's So work on getting your master's And of course, if you've done very well at the first degree level, where if you come out the come loudly, you are likely to become a staff development fellow. And then you can grow in terms of the academic track. So please bear that in mind. You need to be motivated to be able to achieve your aspiration. And please settle all your traffic applications. I also uh, you know, do as led by the spirit. Today I went out and got my new driver's license and paid the car license. Yeah. Of course, if you see Let Them Eat Cake, it's a quote that is usually attributed to Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France during the Revolution. And it was actually supposed to be very insensitive. Although some people have doubted whether she actually spoke those words. But the idea was that they were saying that the people didn't have bread and she was saying Let Them Eat Cake, which is uh, it's, it's a terrible thing to think of. But there's something very close to this in Scripture, particularly when it comes to giving. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. Now, brothers, we want you to know about the grace that God had given the churches of Macedonia. In the terrible ordeal they suffered, the abundant joy and deep poverty overflowed into rich generosity. So if you look at these particular churches, you know, even though they were suffering, they were not rich, they were in fact, they were in poverty, but they still gave generously. And this is the way we need to approach uh, the things of God. We give to the things of God, not because the pastor is putting on that prayer. In fact, in my other podcast, I've condemned all those passive aggressive behavior of pastors trying to put people under you know, pressure to give. But giving is critical. Even if you think you don't have you know, anything that you have, give it. Because God blesses giving. Give, it will be given back to you. Good measure, press down, running to the, you know, and flowing over. You know, so even you know, even in the midst, it might sound like it's insensitive, but this is this is scriptural. Giving brings and attracts blessing. So give. Uh, so that you know, uh, you can actually have uh, abundance of joy and overflow. 